Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 247 DIY. As you can see over there, I've got the Forester up on the lift. All I'm doing is swapping over the summer wheels and tires to the winter wheels and tires. I figure I'd throw this video together to show you how if you have TPMS sensors on a Subaru, you can use this ATEC Quick Set TPM tool to swap from your summer TPMS sensors to your winter TPMS sensors. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So one thing that Subaru did uh, that's a little frustrating is they didn't offer any sort of manual way to swap different TPMS sensors onto the vehicle's system um, if you're using two different sets of tires, say summer tires and winter tires. Unlike say GM vehicles where there's a manual process um, that you can do to relearn the TPMS sensors, um, there's one way you can do by just putting it into learn mode and letting air out of the tires and it'll sense them that way. Or you can just pick up a very cheap tool like this and you just push your button here on the tire by the sensor and it automatically relearns. Um, unfortunately, Subaru decided that the way they wanted their systems to work, um, they load the TPMS sensor ID numbers actually onto the vehicle's computer and the only way to access that is through your OBD2 system. Now the Forester I'm doing this on is on a 2012. It is entirely possible now that we're into 2022, almost 2023, that they may have put that into um, the integrated vehicle computer system. So if you own a newer Subaru, I'm not sure, I don't own a newer one, it may be possible you can access this through you know, the, the computer system that comes on, on most uh, newer Subarus now, but at least around this area of 2012, the only way to do that is to go through your vehicle's OBD2 system and to manually write the new codes onto there. ATEC makes a very cool product here, it's called your Quick Set, and it makes the process very, very easy. All you have to do is, once you have it set up, you plug this into your OBD2 port, and you either push summer for summer tires or winter for winter tires, and in a snap, it just loads those um, ID codes from your TPMS sensors onto your vehicle's computer, and you're good to go. So, I'll show you how to set it up and just how easy it can be. So the first thing you want to do is load the software that comes with the ATEC when you buy it and you just toss this CD in here and you'll get this window to come up when you uh, run the software on the CD. You're just going to click this center button right here, install software, and let the install wizard do its thing. It's going to ask you to install a couple of drivers that are necessary to run it. Um, but yeah, you just click that, let it run, and let it install. And once it's installed, this window here is going to come up. now. Once you have your codes on this, you don't need to use this program again unless you're, you know, you get another set of um, TPMS sensors for a different set of wheels. Or at the top, you actually have up to four different vehicles you can load in. Um, so you can, if you have a different vehicle, you can click that, load those onto this unit, then go to the vehicle. But if you're just doing it for one vehicle, once you have this all set up, you don't need the software again. Now, I've actually got a new computer out here in the shop, so. I'm doing this from scratch and we're going to load everything over. So this is the window that comes up right here and you're just going to start up on the top, click new vehicle one. And one of these days I'm actually going to figure out how to use screen record so that I don't actually have to record with a camera on my computer screen because I know it's a little hard to see but this is, once you click new vehicle one up here, um, you're going to get this little window to come up here. You can see Mitsubishi Motors is showing up because I accidentally hit the M key. But we can hit S and your S's will come up here. And you would assume that we would come down here to the Subaru options. You have um, EU for Europe and US for US. When I first went to set this up, um, I had a lot of issues uh, setting up. It wouldn't work when I would put the codes in. It would say it wasn't a valid code and everything like that. So depending on your year model um, and specifically what Subaru you're doing, you may be able to use this. But I ended up contacting ATEX uh, customer support and they said actually scroll all the way down here to the bottom and you're going to click Z ATEC. So that should be, if you've got a 2012 Forester, that should be the option that you're going for there. You may have to play around with it. And then under the Z ATEC options, we are going to come down to this option right here, which is 2 Subaru OBD2. Click that. And then we will put our year model in, which is 2012 only option that shows up there. So yeah, I guess if you're outside of 2012, you may be able to select the standard Subaru options. Um, but I can tell you for sure, if you have a 2012, um, you need to go to the Z ATEC and then the two Subaru OBD2. Click OK. So now it's going to say waiting for quick set connection. And you've got this USB dongle here. Plug the square end here into your ATEC. 
and then the other end just goes in a USB port. So now this is gonna give you two options um, if it's already been used. So this says previously recorded IDs are stored on your quick set tool, which they are, because I already have my summer and uh, winter ID codes for the TPMS sensors already on this quick set. So you can either retrieve the IDs from the quick set or you can download them from the OBD. So if you're downloading them from the OBD, you would just take the tool over to um, the vehicle. You would need to bring the computer with you, if I remember correctly, so you'll need a laptop for that. Um, but then that'll pull the codes that are already on the vehicle for your stock wheels and tires. But we're gonna go over here and we're gonna select retrieve IDs. So that brings up this menu here. And you can see right here, summer tires. I have all of my ID codes for my summer set in there and I have all of my ID codes for my winter set in there. Um, I do run a full size spare because the setup that I run, um, the overall diameter is larger than the stock um, Subaru configuration. I used to have a very long commute to work and I was always afraid that if I were to get a puncture and have to put my spare on. Subarus don't like it when the diameters on any one tire is different. Um, the all-wheel drive system is very picky about that and you can start to uh, damage some of the internal components of your differentials um, and your transmission if you're running um, tires that are, I forget how much it is, I wanna say it's as small as like five millimeters difference in diameter um, on any tire, don't quote me on that, but it's actually a very small threshold. So. Um, I run a full-size spare, but I didn't want to spend the extra money. There's really no need for a TPMS sen uh, sensor in there because it's only going to be for you know emergencies until I can get home um, and have the tire uh, patched and repaired. So anyway, you would, you would manually enter in your codes here. You would put them all in. Um, keep in mind the hexa up here option is checked. Make sure the hex is checked. And then you can just manually enter in your TPMS sensor code. Just enter all zeros if there's no TPMS sensor. Then you just come up here and you would simply click save to quick set. And that would completely set up your quick set tool. Then we can go over to the vehicle and I'll show you how easy it is. But before we do that, let me just mention a little side note. Uh, one tool that I chose to pick up that can be very handy um, to go along with it is this ATEC VT36. Now if I remember right, this is about a $400 tool, and it's not 100% necessary for doing this. Um, I like doing things on my own, so for me, it was what I wanted to pick up. Now, one thing you could do, and apologies if there's any background noise, it's actually raining really hard here, um, but one thing you could do is, if you had a set of wheels and tires with TPMS sensors that were already running, um, you could go to your nearest uh, tire shop they would probably have a tool like this, or you could go to the dealership. Um, I've heard sometimes they won't charge for this, sometimes they will, but it's not very much. Um, and they can pull the TPMS sensor codes and give you the codes off the tires. If you're doing like what I did and you go to TireRack.com and you get brand new TPMS sensors with a brand new set of wheels and tires, those TPMS sensors come in what's called a sleep mode. You can also use this to wake those sensors up. Again, that's something where you could bring those wheels and tires with the TPMS sensors already in them to a tire shop or to the dealership. They can wake those sensors up for you. So all you would do is when you first turn it on, there'll be a center icon that'll say check sensor. Once you do that, you can go over to the vehicle. Um, you put in the year, make and model of the vehicle and then a little screen will come up. You hit this little green button here and it'll scan. You just put this little sensor near your TPMS sensor and you get all your information. There's your code right there. If the sensor came to you asleep, it would wake up at this point. But you have your ID code right there. It tells you it's got 30 pounds of pressure in the tire, the battery's okay, and then it's a 315 megahertz TPMS sensor. So again, for $400, you, you need to make the choice if that's worth it to you. For me, it was, um, but it's a handy tool so you don't have to run around and go to a tire shop to have them do it for you or uh, the dealership or what have you. But let's jump to the car and I'll show you how to use the quick set and how easy it can be to set up on your vehicle. So we're just gonna come down here to the OBD2 port, which is located right up under the dash. Hard to see, but it's right here. And you're gonna plug the quick set right into that. And we're gonna turn our key to the on position. Once your key's in the on position, you'll see you'll have a blinking green light. At this point, you're just gonna select which setup you want. In this case, we're going from summer to winter tires, so we're gonna push the snowflake for winter tires. And then you'll see your sensor turn, or your little light here turns a solid green. 
and that's how you know it's set. And it's as simple as that. When summertime comes and you swap over your summer wheels and tires on, you do the same thing and then you just hit the sun for summer and it'll do the same thing and it's as simple as that. Just a quick two second operation on this tool here um, can save you having to drive to a tire shop or drive to the dealership so that they can swap your sensor codes over. So with that, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Feel free to leave a comment. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.